Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video is I'm gonna show you how to make aesthetic intros. So this video was requested. Thank you so much for requesting. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the red subscribe button because why not? Joke. But if you want, so just click the red subscribe button. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So for the first step is open canva.com. So it will require you to create an account. So just use your Gmail account. Account. then after that open Pinterest and in here I'm just gonna search some aesthetic background it depends on what is your vibe or what background you want on your intro so, so I just saw this pink skies and so if you want to be minimalist search for some plain pastel color and you can just use that also after that if you already pick an image then just download the photo and in here, I'm just gonna search for blank web browser on Pinterest and then just scroll until you see this window browser and then after that is just download the image. You can just scroll and uh, search for more ideas. Or you can also use some television if you want, some laptop for your frame. So here I just click this magnifying glass so that it will give you other ideas about that picture so that, so that you'll have more choices. And if you're done already with finding some pictures, go to create design and search YouTube thumbnail so that you will have the dimension of a YouTube video. So next is go to uploads and upload the photos that you have searched on Pinterest. Then just let it load and next is I'm just gonna drag this photo, this background. I'm just gonna adjust it by clicking the crop option. So my theme here is to make a desktop inspired intro so to do that after after you drag the background of your desktop is just go to elements and search file so that you will have this files icon on your desktop intro and just search for other apps so I just search Google zoom it depends on you and here I'm just gonna search for a computer and uh, just I'm just gonna put some camera so the other good thing here in canva is that you can personalize that icon so, so if you want to personalize the color just click the button boxes and just pick a color so i just want this to have pink shades and yes this is how it looks like i'm just gonna repeat it on other icons but if you want to maintain the color then you can just leave it as it is next is i'm gonna insert a text so just click the text option and just put your text so you can also change the font size the colors and so on so here I'm just resizing the text and I'm just duplicating it so that it will be easier. Then I'm just gonna change the text. So here I just decided to have a time on the right hand corner of the desktop intro. So I just got this idea from my desktop. And if you haven't watched my how to make your aesthetic laptop, I'm gonna put the link here in the iCard or in the description box. So here I just put the date, then adjusting it. Then I just decided to put a battery bar on this side, but still it depends on you on what you want to incorporate on your intro. Next is I'm just gonna click the duplicate page and in here, I'm gonna insert this picture, then just crop the sides and resize it. If you want to have a minimalist kind of vibe on your intro, then you can just use a plain background and personally, I like those pastel colors because it is cool in the eyes and it is not so harsh or bright. And here, I'm just gonna add a computer. This is just an example, but most of the time, I use those computer backgrounds from Pinterest. I'm just editing the color and uh, voila, that is how it looks like. For my next the suggestion for your intro is use these borders from canvas so this is from sketchify i believe we have this cute borders so you can also personalize it with whatever color you want and in here i'm just adding a green screen so that so that when i edit it on my videos i will just have the borders so this is just an example but i hope you got an idea to make your intros 
So the next one is I'm gonna teach you on how to make your own aesthetic border. So in here, I'm just gonna add a shape from the element and I just place this square and this border and add a line on the top part. Next, I just place this letter X so that it looks like or like a notepad. Then I just edited the color. So if you want to resize all of the elements and you don't want to resize it one by one, then just highlight those elements and then you can resize it. So in here, I just decided to add this book element and I just edited the colors too. Here I just add a text. Again, this is just an example. You can put there like video.mp4. I depends on you. So if you're happy with your masterpiece, then just download it and then it will be downloaded as a zip file. So what you're gonna do is just drag those to your documents or your folder. So in here for the next one is I'm gonna teach you on how I make those GIF doodles words. So in here I'm just gonna open a blank canvas. The width of this one is 1334 and the height is 750. Then just click create after that as I just add a text so here I'm just resizing it next is click a blank layer don't forget that one okay you have to doodle on the next layer not on the same layer with the text so here I just decided to use the color mustard yellow but still it depends on you if what color you prefer and in here I'm just gonna fill in this letters it's okay if it's messy because that's it's okay no one's perfect girl so if you're happy on how you fill in those text then just proceed to another layer don't forget to hide the previous layer so in here I'm just gonna repeat the process again it's okay if it's not so so perfect or if it's not so neat next is just pick a darker shade of the color you choose and also I adjusted the size size into 3.8 I think or 3.0 then you're just gonna outline the letters so again it is okay if it's not so perfect if you're done with that layer so just open the next layer so just outline again the letters and uh, just repeat the process as what you have done on the previous layer and this is how it will look like so for the next step is to hide the background Then click share and click save image just repeat that on the other layer and this is how it will look like just import it on your video editing software so for the next one open PowerPoint and I'm just gonna add this green screen cursor then click remove background and click keep changes I'm just gonna change the color to grayscale and insert the photo from Canva. Resize your cursor. Next is click the animations tab and click custom path. Then you can draw there on how your cursor will move. Then click enter. Next is I'm gonna delete the photo and click format background and choose the color of the typical green screen and you can also preview it. Next is click the file tab and click save. Then just rename it, just save it as a video. So in here, I'm just gonna edit the intro. So you need to import first the photos. Next is just insert the photos of your doodles and in here I just edited the duration so you can make it about 20 milliseconds or less than that. So if you're happy on how long each photos will be, then just highlight those two pictures and copy them and paste it on the timeline. So if you're already happy on how it looks, then just save your video. So that's it guys for today's video and I hope you learned something and have an idea on how to make your intro. So thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!
Bye guys. Ciao.